Cyclone Calvinia is maintaining intensity today as it moves very close to the island of Mauritius, swirling around just to the southeast with winds of 45 miles per hour and a pressure of 991 millibars, verified by ASCAT and ground observations. This update in partnership with Matteo e Cyclone Maurice. It's currently at 20.6 degrees south, 58.2 degrees east. And as you can see there, that wind field on the southern side is uh, quite a bit larger than it used to be as well. It's currently just 57 miles from Grand Bay, that's around 90 kilometers, 55 from Port Louis, 181 from St. Denis, and 336 from the island of Rodrigues. Now the southeastern part of Mauritius is closer still to the center of the storm at just a couple dozen miles. There's the storm's current position and a class 3 warning is in effect for Mauritius right now. The storm is likely to persist for a good 24 hours more before it starts to move away towards the southeast. The potential good news is that we no longer expect it to reach hurricane equivalent status over the island or near the island, although it could still reach that status as it's moving away from Mauritius tomorrow. So you saw there the storm uh, powering off towards the southeast there, uh, but initially you can see how it just stalls just a little bit longer and then starts moving in the early hours of Tuesday by the looks of things and then accelerates off towards the southeast, peaking along the way and then turning post-tropical as the sea surface temperatures grow colder. Wind shear is lower at this point, so intensification is likely, and these are the current sea surface temperatures. Near the storm right now, we're looking in the lower 80s. That's around 27 degrees Celsius, which is certainly good enough for tropical cyclone development. That will drop quite a bit as it starts moving south. Well, here's a look at the wind field then, so you can see on the forecast now, again, the storm just uh, moving towards Mauritius again there one last time before moving off towards the southeast. Um, when all this is said and done, we could be looking at very large rainfall totals, 300 millimeters at least, possibly up and above 500 millimeters over Mauritius. So you can see the forecast here. Models actually aren't too sure whether it will become a Category 1 hurricane equivalent storm anymore. Now they're all around the threshold, so strong tropical storm at least before wind shear really rises on Wednesday. Um, but in the meantime, until then, it's pretty low. Sea surface temperatures will also drop off a cliff then, and relative humidity is looking fairly well. So this storm's got about two days before it turns post-tropical um, and starts weakening. Well, here it is right now. As you can see, it's uh, so, sort of swirling around, circling very close to the island of Mauritius. This is the last 12-hour loop. Convection's much better than it used to be as well, so uh, we're looking at possibly more rainfall amounts over the island today and, of course, those strong winds underneath um, the convection. The highest wind speed we've seen so far is in southeastern Mauritius with 46 miles per hour. That's 72 kilometers per hour. And you can see also the island of Réunion may also see some peripheral effects from this storm today. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan Benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.